everybody, Al here from LiveX, and today we have another unboxing. It is the Focusrite RedNet D64R Matty Bridge. Now, this is a very powerful 1RU uh, unit for converting your Matty output and input into a Dante interface. Now, we use this on our ATEM Constellation because lucky enough for us, that has Matty in and out. So you can de-embed and embed 64 channels of audio um, over 24 cameras, uh, in and out of your system, and we like to use that for taking remote feeds and de-embedding those, or taking a graphics feed and having that right onto your board over Dante Network or over two records. So you can have multiple feeds from different cameras and then put that anywhere in your Dante Network with complete redundancy. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look inside the box. So open it up here. Very nicely laid out. We have what looks like two ICs, I imagine, for uh, redundancy for your power. Um, a guide and some warranty information. And between this styrofoam, it looks like we have the RedNet D64R. Go go ahead and put this box aside and that foam as well. And let's take it out of the bag. Here we go. And that's very, very nice right there. It's very clean on the front. Uh, with this sort of display on the front here, we have all sorts of information with regards to what's happening in the box without having to go into the software, some basic um, sort of systematic sort of info that you don't necessarily have tons of information about. You need to go into the software over your Dante network or directly hooked up to this thing. So some of the, it's more like a status indicator on the front here, which is really nice. You got a nice on and off switch on this side. And then you have some information with regards to your PSU supply info, uh, your network info, um, sample rates, uh, clock source, which is really important when you're hooking up your MATI bridge. Um, uh, your MATI input, whether that's working or not, um, your clock, and uh, your signal. And then on the other side, we have all of your ports, uh, including redundant power, um, as per the two IECs. Um, Dante, primary and secondary over Ethercon or your standard Cat6 connection. Uh, you have your Matty coax in and out. Really nice and durable spigots on those, as well as a Matty optical in and out for a uh, fiber connection, which is really, really nice. Um, so you can eliminate the issues that you have with, uh, say, um, your coax cable. Uh, then you also have word clock in and out, so you can be driving other systems using um, this machine. Um, Really handy to have that as well, just to make sure that everything on your audio side is synced up to the right, um, pretty much the right beat. So that's a pretty nicely laid out little machine right there. Tons of power in this 1RU frame, keeping everything nice and compact. And we like to use it for all sorts of things when it comes to embedding and de-embedding audio, like I said before, eliminating the need for a ton of de-embedders throughout your system. And especially the fact that paired with the ATEM Constellation from Blackmagic, you have 64 channels of audio in and out direct out of your ATEM without the need to have tons of XLR, tons of de-embedders throughout your system, really paring everything down to one RU along with that two RU frame, giving you tons of power for your install or your studio or on the road with your ATEM. Um, paired that with our, SQ, our SQ6 in the studio, this makes for a wonderful, um, you know, double down of the sort of power that we have over a Dante network. With that being said, Thanks so much for watching this unboxing of the Focusrite RedNet D64R Matty Bridge. Um, go ahead and hit us up at contact at livex.tv for any products you'd like for us to take a look at and unbox on camera. Um, and you can go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, follow us on social media at livex productions, and we'll catch you guys on the next unboxing. See ya.